Hey rock stars, it's me, Mickey B, the rock hounding gemologist. Check out this video. You are not going to believe the rocks that I found in Kansas this time. I mean, these natural asbestos rocks will blow your mind. I'm pretty sure they're fossils, so be sure and check it out. Uh, always watch till the end because I'm giving lots of good advice through the way. So even if you're doing dishes, doing something, uh, make sure you're at least listening to the whole video because you will learn something. All right, don't forget to rock on. So this is kind of like muddy over here and I see that there's a bunch of them embedded. I don't know if you can see that. With the uh, diffused sunlight, the daylight so to speak, um, it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of reflecting a different color but like this is sort of a light green, a darker green. It really looks fibrous there. Um, I think it's called stalactites. I'm going to have to check. I'll uh, do a quick video on. So I just found more of these rocks and this is pretty damp. I suspect there's water under here. Saw a self-made well nearby, but these are those rocks where it, got, it has that kind of serpentine type of habit there, the columnar uh, fibrous habit. Habit just is a word for how the Kind of how the crystals look kind of when they're all together in the field so and then this side is kind of interesting let's see how heavy they are okay for this size of rock it's heavier than it looks so it's either petrified wood or it's serpentine or or I don't know what. I'm gonna have to check it out, look it up. Hmm. I do use a uh, Google Lens image search. And Gemini can now search um, pictures, which is the Google AI function. If you download the app. That's pretty cool looking, huh? So I think, see, I think I see another one right down there. See? So we'll see what, what else I stumble across. I didn't expect that. Alright, I found some more of it, see? Hmm. They kind of all look a little bit different. The mystery continues. Okay, see, I see some more here. This is like more white. Yeah, see, that's really like a white and gray color, which I haven't really... Gosh, it does have green overtones. It could be an amphibole mineral. Huh. There's more right here, too. All right. I am soliciting feedback. What do you think it is? And I did have a viewer ask me what safety precautions I take because I thought it was um, asbestos. Now I just don't know. Um, or chrysotile, chrysotile, however you say it. Um, and I don't take precautions because I heard and have read that if you, as long as it's not ground up, it's not toxic, but I'm just not sure that this is serpent, or yeah, that it's the fibrous serpentine, natural asbestos. I'm just not sure about that. It's kind of like the, see the sides of the rocks that, the faces that make me suspect. I, that's not... I don't think that's a serpentine type look. So please let me know what you think. Taking any and all guesses and I will uh, do some research. I'll get on MindAt and do some research and then I can demonstrate how to use it. That's like an essential tool for uh, rock hounds. To use if they want to understand and ID the minerals in your area you definitely want to be proficient with mind out and I just learned through trial and error so I'll give you those secrets be sure to look for that all right what is it what is it let's find out what are these crazy rocks all about there's oh, that looks different almost just looks like a 
concrete. Okay, see, very interesting. This one's really interesting. That's how I made the discovery. And again, I find them in the creek and washed up on shore, but here, I'm sure there's water under here, but it's not exposed, so the mystery continues. So I wanted to let you know that I used a couple apps, you know, rock identification apps and rock identifier, the first, the traditional one, um, said anything from, it did say serpentine once, which is what the natural asbestos is. Um, it's a serpentine group mineral. I think it's actually a group of minerals. I talked about that in the first video at the creek, but, um, and then I got satin spar gypsum, which gypsum is what the other one said. It said steel and I, but it's not, it's too heavy for that. Um, which is also a good indicator. So for specific gravity in the field, you just pick up a rock and say, okay, well, for a rock this size, is it, you know, heavier or lighter than, you know, a common one, like say calcite or quartz. Um, so this one feels kind of light, actually. This one here feels heavier. I mean, it's bigger. And then it, it thinks this is petrified wood. I mean, that says that every time. But I don't think it is. Um, I can see why it would say that based on appearance. So this mistral, uh, mistral, mistral, mineral mystery continues. I'm still saying serpentine, but I do have a... A kit with me so we'll uh, look into this this Christmas week and see if we can solve this mineral mystery and let me know what you think uh, think it might be so I found it here in Newton Kansas about 20 miles north of Wichita and I found it not in association with water I mean it's nearby water I'm sure there's water under there and it looks like there was some construction done which hot hot tip especially if you're in the city one of the best places to go find really interesting, um, you can find gemstones, interesting rocks and crystals, fossils, um, petrified wood is common if it's in your area, which is um, construction sites. So I, I think this may have been unearthed because of construction, and these are obviously much bigger and more unique than the ones that I found in the creek, which that video should be linked. So let's solve this mystery before New Year's, shall we? All right, what do you think? I'm, I'm going with serpentine still, but uh, we'll do some tests and figure it out. All right, cheers. Happy Sunday.